Welcome to our demo where we showcase the powerful synergy between Databricks and Click Data Integration. In this demo, we'll take you on a journey through real-time data integration, automated machine learning, and visualization. In this journey, we will start showing Click Data Integration loading data from a relational system, and Click can source data from several systems like relational databases, mainframes, or SAP into the lake house using a secure data gateway. Our task will capture the initial load of historical data and then all the chains from the source and gonna land this information to the Databricks. Then we will show you some transformations capabilities embedded into the platform, choosing between materialized or non-materialized views, balancing real-time versus scheduled updates. As data flows into the Databricks, we are showing you Delta Life tables, workflows, publishing features, consuming machine learning models, and running predictions, and then exposing those assets into unit catalog to be consumed by Click Analytics. The initial step is to create a data project pipeline at Click Cloud Data Integration. I'm opening here a new blank project connect to my Databricks instance. I want to onboard data, create a new landing task, and connect into my relational system and let me search for my tables so I can add them to the scope of this task. Next, I have options to use CDC to identify my chains, reading the logs from my source in real time, or I might use one approach to reload and compare for sources that do not support CDC. And I have two options for managing this, the chains. I can store all the chains in one audit table or I can use replication to only store the latest values from my source. Let me show you what a task looks like. Click Cloud Data Integration automatically discovers all metadata about most source tables like column names and types, the primary key, etc. I can create expressions with no code experience to apply transformations with string manipulation, numerical calculation, etc. to the data while it's being landed. I can create new columns, I can modify the content, etc. But if I want to take one step further, I can add a transformation layer to my pipeline. Here, I can have the same no-code experience to transform my data, or I can copy and paste a SQL comment with all the features of Spark SQL like hashing, string manipulation, cast conversion, concatenation, filtering, joining, etc. Now let me validate my SQL to make sure I didn't make any mistake. Now I need to make two decisions. The first is if my transform will be materialized as a table or it will live just as a view. And the second, if I'm interested in having a type two data store keeping record of my chains. And the next, is to decide when I want my transformation to be executed. I'm checking here to be executed once I have new data come from my transactional system. Now we are all set, let's prepare my tasks. This will create all the structures on the lake house to receive my data. Let me go back to my pipeline and let's execute my initial full load, loading all the historical data from my source table. We have a monitor screen here. Let's see what's happening. It's finishing with more than 400,000 records loaded in less than 15 seconds. Now let's execute my transformation layer. It's been executed as well. And next we're going to check my Databricks console to see our data there. Let me expand my schema and let's check my users transform table. The columns were created and let's check the sample data. The data seems to be correct with all columns populated and my email column has it by my function. We are ready to go to the next step using Databricks data engineering capabilities. I prepared our workflow to create two live tables. Let's run it and while it's being executed, let me show you what we are doing. I'm using a live table to publish my features so I can train a model with it. And I'm creating another live table 
reading my pictures and making predictions using AutoML model. Let's go back and see how the workflow is doing. It's almost finishing. Both tables are being populated, almost finished. Both tables were populated as expected. Now let's see what happens to our data pipeline when my data source gets updated by new transactions. Just as an example, using one script connect to my transactional system, let me insert thousands of records and apply some updates. My script is running. Let's wait a few seconds for the completion. It's done. Our data was updated. Let's see how our pipeline behaves. Going back to our monitoring screen, we're going to see that ClickCloud Data Integration identified those chains and applied them in real, near real time to my events table into the lake house. And if we go back to the workflow monitoring screen, my Databricks console, we can go ahead and move this into production, scheduling it to automatically calculate my predictions and ensure they stay up to date. By doing this, our data pipeline becomes fully automated, allowing the transactional data to be consumed in near real time, confirmed and governed by the unit's catalog. Let's go to the last part of our journey, navigating to the ClickCloud Analytics Hub, where I can see that the Databricks tables were exposed as created datasets that can be consumed by users, and they can create ClickSAS apps containing dashboards, reports, automations, and alerts. Let's open this app and see what the user prepared for us. This appealing dashboard can give us information extracting from the lake house, combining the appealing graphical objects that can act as a filter. As the user clicks and makes selections, those filters are applied in memory, giving the answers in a sub-second experience, combining cached snapshots or direct query for details. The user is free to use any object to navigate or drill across all the data without any predefined drill downs using the associative capabilities of ClickSense. Let's see how the user prepared a report showing us the customers predicted to churn. Any user is free to explore the data and the predictions focus on the most profitable users to reduce the churn. The user can even create self-service alerts to be informed by any change in this scenario. For example, the user can create a simple alert to be notified on the smartphone if the predictions accumulate more than $1 million. This is the end of our journey. The power of this integration becomes evident when we consider the context in which it operates. By combining the capabilities of ClickCloud and Databricks, we unlock a host of benefits for organizations. This integration enables real-time data integration, allowing data to be seamlessly synchronized and updated in new real time. Advanced transformation capabilities provide the flexibility to manipulate and shape the data according to specific business requirements. Additionally, the integration facilitates automatic data mart creation, streamlining the process of organizing and structuring data for analytical purposes. Additionally, the integration facilitates automatic data mart creation, streamlining the process of organizing and structuring data for analytical purposes. Machine learning capabilities embedded within the integration offer the potential for large language models and predictive analytics, empowering organizations to uncover hidden patterns and make informed decisions. By leveraging the strengths of Databricks and Click, this integration empowers organizations to make faster data-driven decisions and uncover valuable insights. It combines the best of both worlds enabling seamless collaboration and synergy between the advanced data processing capabilities of Databricks and the power of data ingestion and transformation of Click. Thanks for watching this.